Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today is March 18th, and Samsung just recently pushed off a software update to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now, the last time we got an update for the Galaxy Z Fold 2, I believe it was around February 27th. We'll take a look at that here in just a second, but that was able to give us the Samsung One UI 3.1 update, and it did not give us the February 1st patch, even though it was just a few days from March 1st. So this little update that we have here, it ends in DUC1. The size is 237 megabytes, which is pretty much the exact same size as really any other update out there. Now, if you're trying to figure out where you can find an update for your Samsung phone, just head inside of the settings. You're going to go all the way down to where it says software update, and then you go to download and install. But I do want to take a look at this one right here. It was actually February 27th. It happened at night. This is when we got Samsung One UI 3.1. It was a pretty large file. And that was also when we finally got that February 1st patch. I remember it was almost the end of February and we just finally got February 1st on that update. And really, I think it just came late just because they're trying to get, you know, the February 1st patch, but they also want to make sure that 3.1 was also completely ready. So you go to download and install. So here we go. We're going to download this thing. Now we will also take a look at several different applications just to see if there is any other newer versions, such as the camera, gallery, internet, the home, as well as fingerprint and face recognition. So it's usually at this point in the video that I usually state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. We appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on any type of updates for your Samsung phone, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And if you appreciate content like this, please give it a big thumbs up, write a comment below the video. It'll help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. Now, again, sometimes we might not find brand new versions of applications. There's just a lot of regular small security updates that could be happening in the background that we probably don't really see. But again, we're still going to look. We do that with every single update. Now, the software update update is done and complete. Let's take a look at, whoa, what? <laughs> so let's take a look at a few applications, see if there's any newer versions. So first off, when it comes down to the camera, originally it was 11.1.0.0.6. This one is 11.1.0.0.6. So the camera is the same. Taking a look at the gallery, it was 12.1.3.6. So this will be 12.1.3.6. So no new versions there. Uh, taking a look at the Samsung internet, which recently I started using Samsung internet. I used to always be Chrome, but I noticed using Samsung internet, you use way less battery life versus Chrome. Uh, I don't really know the reason behind that. Maybe it's because of all the tracking and all the, all the autofills and, and all the syncing. Mostly it's all the syncing between all of the areas where Google uh, is used. So when it comes on the internet, it used to be 13.2.3.2. So 13.2.3.2, same version there. Uh, when we take a look at the home, let's take a look to see if there's anything new here. Uh, so for the home, it was 12.1.1.15. So 12.1.1.15. And then when it comes down to the fingerprint and facial recognition, so we'll go inside biometrics, biometrics uh, update, biometric security patch. So here it was uh, 5.1.0.1. And then we had 2.0.1.13. So 2.0.1.13. So in terms of this update here, I didn't really see anything specific with a newer version with any of these applications that we took a look at. But again, this is really just a security patch for the phone itself and a lot of things that runs in the background. So it could also be dealing with some of the blockchain type stuff as well too. Um, but again, here's your update. Nothing really too new, nothing to really take a look at unless if there's something that you guys find that I didn't find in today's video. But if you guys did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you have not subscribed already, subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.